Hi guys, it's Bray. Today we are going to do some sublimation again. We are going to do fall slash spooky season because we're coming up on that quick and it's time to get a little stock ready. And we are going to use my Besin sublimation tumblers. Um, I'm going to do 10 of them in the fall and spooky season range. Seven are new designs I got from Creative Fabrica. Three are just returning favorites, I guess you say, but this is how they come. Uh, they sell by the case. They're, you know, they have two U.S. warehouses, I believe, or you can order them from the factory directly. I will put the links down below, but they have the low profile lid, which most of the sublimation companies have been switching to these anyways. Um, I actually prefer these and it's a beautiful white tumbler with Absolutely no writing on the bottom, absolutely no writing on the box, other than, you know, the tiny fine print. Um, I really appreciate that there's absolutely no writing on the bottom of these. So that is what we are going to work with. And I'm going to move over to my other table. I already have eight of them wrapped. I have two left to wrap with you. And then we will get to pressing. Okay, so I have my heat press here. Um, I have my pressing pillow ready to move in once I have hot cups coming in and out. And I have two wraps left, one kind of fall, one spooky season. I have two blank cups left to wrap and I have my tape roller. So I'm just going to move the ones that are ready out of the way so they don't start preheating next to the one that is already heated or next to the heat press my gosh I don't know what my problem today is speaking so I'm going to go ahead and let my press start heating up um, this press is okay it's from Amazon it's actually much much cheaper now than when I purchased it which kind of irritates me um, but what are you gonna do um I'd probably be much happier with it if I paid today's price than the price I paid for it a year ago so um sorry I'm trying to get my charger cord out of the way but if you push okay it goes to P1, which is your temperature setting. I have mine set to 360. P2 is the time setting. I set that to 65. So I'm actually ready to go there. This does have a memory, thankfully, that will keep that in mind for me. So we're going to go ahead and let that heat up while we wrap these last two tumblers. Do make sure you put your wrap on the right direction. Make sure you mirror your images. Most of these are from Creative Fabrica. Um, there's three of them that are not. And I will try to link to all of those below. But I put my cup opening down and I drop my table, my wrap to the table. So obviously upside down, you know, face down. And then I pull tight in the middle. I'm in a tight space because I want to try and keep my press somewhat in view. And then tape. I have switched to only using clear tape because I was finding on my mugs that the yellow tape, the gold, was um, kind of leaving some marks on them occasionally. So clear tape only from now on for me and then I just run a strip of tape tight down the center I am no longer wrapping my tops and bottoms just this seems to be working so hopefully it will continue to work but number two and we are almost up to temp so that is awesome 
hoping in my timing of doing two. Every once in a while my tape will put too much out. It'll miss a cut, which isn't the end of the world. Anyways, I was trying to get my timing right, so I'd be up to temp and like ready to rock. So this thing's going to beep and be annoying. I'm just going to close it and let it start counting down. It's fine. It does say to heat with a mug in it. Uh, supposedly that saves your life cycle a little bit. Um, I don't know about all that. So where I put my tape seam, I'm going to slide my tumbler in that way first. And I do have this press set pretty tight. Uh, just seems to be what's working best for this press. So, countdown's on. I do have heat safe gloves. And like I said, I do have my silicone mat and my pressing pillow for hot mugs to sit on. I will have soon a new product to test for sublimation tumblers. I do have a tumbler press coming soon that's new to the market. So I'm excited about that. But for now, I'm working with Old Faithful. So. This is one of the brand new designs for this year that I picked out. Brand new for me. That doesn't mean it's not been around. Um, I do have faint striations from my paper. I should have run a head cleaning and I didn't. So I may get that on a couple of these, but it's really not the end of the world. But this one is Spooky Vibes. If you know, you know logo wise but with the drip and the bloody handprints I just thought this one was cool so that is number one but can you see how beautiful the colors are on this tumbler and the way I have it wrapped there's like no ghosting at the top or the bottom I don't like to go over the bottom when I'm using a press um, because I do get a lot of ghosting along the bottom. So I do cut my images slightly short. I cut them from the 8.2 down to about 8. And I always start with the tape to the front and then to the back. That way if I get to chatting while I'm recording or whatever, I am 100% sure I have rotated when I pull it out. If it's not to the back... I know I did not make the rotation. I like to peel my tapes because I like my paper to peel off in one piece, not a whole bunch of different sections. If you want to tear your paper, go ahead. And I can usually use that last piece of tape to grab the paper. So this one says, move over hot girl summer, spooky, it's spooky bitch season. But again, gorgeous, vibrant colors. No ghosting, no messy spots, just, I'm really, really, really happy with these tumblers. Here is a nice fall one, just a girl who loves fall. 
I really like this one. I think it is soft and pretty. It was basically seamless. That looks pretty good. Just really soft pastel-y fall colors. Um, this one had a lot of white in it, so I didn't run the long strip of tape. I didn't feel it was necessary because there was so much white to the image. So. But this is a returning favorite. We all float down here. If you know, you know. So, these do come with whoops a case of or a pack of straws to go with the case um this particular case also came with an extra straw and an extra box which i thought was kind of unique to this company i don't know if that's something they always do but i thought that was pretty handy Some people enjoy peeling them this way. I, I just don't. I feel like you're much more likely to nick one of your images if you have to come back in and grab like that. And I did unfortunately have a little white line in this one where I didn't quite trim my paper enough. But not the end of the world. All of these tumblers are going to be in my next sale and I'm going to do a huge, deeply discounted, biggest discounts I've ever offered sale soon. So just so you know, that'll be coming. Again, another old favorite. Gotta have at least one of these in a season. But look at how vibrant the colors are. When I'm prepping, I just pop on my lids into a box and then as they start to cool, like, basically, when you can pick them up by hand. Um, this one's almost there, where it's comfortable. That's when I pop the lids back on, rather than keeping a whole separate set of lids like I do with my epoxy tumblers. They go into a basket above. These I just box because I know they're going to go back on immediately. This is another Spooky Vibes one. I do believe there were several of this type of image. I just picked two that were somewhat different. Um, you know, one more cute, one more gory, I guess you could say. But I liked this one with the kind of glowing pumpkins. This one would actually be awesome on a glow tumbler, which I do believe I have some coming from this company. At some point here, I just don't know exactly when. Uh, it's okay if your seals come off the bottom on these. These are like strictly decorative, just little stickers. They don't actually do anything. 
Some people think it affects how hot or cold the tumbler stays. No. It's strictly to cover the plug. Because actually on the bottom of these ones, this is really nice and white. Some of them it'll have like a little black spot there. That's all it's doing is covering that. So if you pop them off, don't panic. So this is a 3D effect one. Uh, this is actually the first sublimation one I've done with the 3D effect. I've been doing them all as epoxy tumblers, so. And it does look beautiful. This is a really nice fall quilled look 3D effect, so. There we go. So this one is just a simple Hello Fall burlap on a gingham check. with a little sunflower and some faux gold glittery leaves. It's pretty. So coffee makes me feel less murdery. Love it. With the crime scene tape at the bottom, um, you can see where it didn't actually do too, too bad ghosting at the bottom, just a little bit, but I like it. I may actually end up keeping this one for myself since it is probably the worst of the bunch, but that happens. But, I don't know, because I have an awful lot of tumblers, you know, that I've kept for myself lately. So, that is it for these ones. I'm just going to grab some of the ones I can handle. Just so you can see how beautiful and vibrant these really do come out. Again, Besan tumblers. I will put the link down below. I love the colors of this one. Um, I will get the link down below for you. And any other information you need, you know, where the Creative Fabrica images came from, things like that. So that is it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.